Hey there guys, so today we're doing a comparison of Valorant running on both the AMD Ryzen 5 5500U and the 5560U. Now there are some key differences between these two APUs that need to be noted. The Ryzen 5 5500U is based off of Zen 2 and has a Radeon 7 GPU, which means it has 7 Vega cores in it and its maximum clock is 1800 MHz. Now the 5560U, which is actually a newer CPU, is based off of Zen 3. While it's its GPU is a Radeon 6, which means it has six Vega cores and it only clocks up to 1600 megahertz. So this is kind of a, a weird hybrid chip where we're on Zen 3, but it is a very similar design to the 5500U down to having the exact same amount of cache and pretty much identical boost speeds. But we have a downgraded GPU, but we're on a newer architecture and the GPU that it has is the GPU that is used in the Ryzen 3 APUs. So it's like they took a Ryzen 3 APU and a Ryzen 5 APU and just merged it together and created this weird chip that in a lot of games does perform worse than the 5500U. But at least in this specific game, after just going through multiple rounds, multiple matches, desperately trying to at least get the same map so that I could do comparison. Since there is no built-in benchmark, we can't really do a straight up one-to-one -one comparison. The best I can do is pretty much continue to queue up until I actually end up getting the same map with between the two and you know use that for comparison footage and of course this ended up taking me quite a few hours but it finally ended up happening with this but it gave me enough time to really experience both chips and what I can tell you is that the 5560U performs just slightly better than the 5500U just slightly and this really just comes down to the fact that if you pay attention to both the GPU is hardly doing anything in both of these. Valorant with the lowest graphics settings is an extremely light game. Extremely, extremely light to the point where we're not even fully utilizing this APU. We're actually being held back by the CPU. So we're CPU limited in both situations. And what's essentially happening is that the higher IPC of the 5560U is actually coming in handy here. Now it isn't a massive IPC lead due to the fact that one of the biggest benefits for the Ryzen 5000 series that really made it such a huge leap over the 3000 series was essentially actually the fact that they doubled the amount of cash and we don't have that increased cash on the 5560U. It is the same amount of cash as the 5500U. So that cash uplift that we saw from the 5000 series just isn't there. This is pure IPC gain, which is why the results by the end of this specific map ended up being very, very close to each other to the point where you realistically could could not say that there was a ginormous difference between the two. The final average between the two was actually not too far apart from each other. We're talking about 145 FPS average on the 5560U versus 138 on the 5500U. And our 1% lows only have a 5 FPS difference and both of them are more than comfortably above 60. So in general, the gaming experience between the two isn't really drastically different. Both will fully utilize a 1080p 144 hertz display no problem whatsoever but there is that noticeable gain on the ryzen 5 5560u just because of the better cpu but it is one of those things where this is a pretty rare occurrence unless you're playing the really light titles like valorant like league of legends like roblox things like that that will run on practically anything and the cpu a lot of, a lot of the times is the biggest limitation you're better off going with the 5500u because it in most cases will do better in most games but these types of titles the really really light ones are exactly the kinds that i would realistically play on an apu so it is one of those things where it is an interesting situation all around you <clears throat> especially because this B-Link mini PC, I pretty much just have hook, hooked up to a 144 hertz monitor all the time and I get great results in a lot of these really light titles. Valorant being the one that performs pretty much the best. So this is essentially the most ideal situation for the Ryzen 5 5560U and it impresses, but only slightly. It's nothing remarkable, but it is at least a win and it was consistent across multiple different matches. It wasn't just this specific map after playing 
playing for pretty much the entirety of the day on both systems. I can comfortably say that the 5560U is overall performing better, but if I did not have the FPS counters there, neither one of them was really going to disappoint me and they would both essentially feel identical. It was more of an academic win more than anything else. But anyways, I hope you found this video interesting. If you did, be sure to subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one.